Hello! The finalists and the winner of this year's Pulitzer Prize for Fiction are going to be announced on May 6th, because that is how it works with this award. There's no long list or short list. It's just all announced at once. And so I'm going to give my predictions for what we might see there. And if you have any of your own predictions, I would love to hear about them in the comments below, because this is an award which I've always kept my eye on, uh, but never followed too closely. But I was so thrilled at last year's double win of Demon Copperhead and Trust, because I loved both of those novels so much. So I, instead of giving a, a list of a lot of books um, that are eligible or possibilities for this year's award, and there are so many, so it's really difficult uh, to predict, I'm just going to discuss three that I am especially passionate about and which I really hope um, to see uh, listed for this year's award or to, to even win it. Uh, and I hope more people read and discuss these books um, because I, I think there's something really special about them. And I do think they are very strong possibilities because uh, each of them deal with an aspect of American life. And that is one of the criteria of the prize um, that, that the, the, the novel, the fiction, will deal with uh, some aspect of American life, although there have been exceptions in the past of books that were listed or, or won the prize. Um, so first off, there is Biography of X by Catherine Lacey, and this novel is so unique. It follows a, a woman who is writing an account of her wife's life, and her wife was a very experimental uh, artist and a uh, mysterious figure um, who died, and uh, she interviews a number of people that were connected to her throughout her life, and in this way, she discovers so many more things about her wife's um, mysterious past um, than what she had known before. And we gradually discover that this is an alter gives an alternative history of uh, America. Um, but a lot of the, the issues which are shown and which um, divided the country um, are still present, but uh, are just shown in an amplified way. Um, so it's it's examining uh, the, the present of this country, but through a very different lens. And I think it is so creative how how it does that, of how it blends um, fictional characters with some real-life historical characters, and it is just a, such a pleasure to read. And also recently there was a, a new list of uh, great American novels and this uh, of the past 100 years, and this was one of the, the most um, recent um, selections from that, so I feel like it's a book which is really gaining uh, a lot of momentum. Now next there is Blackouts by Justin Torres, um, which is such a deeply felt and beautiful story of a uh, younger gay man who goes to meet a uh, older gay man and they have this very uh, intense and meaningful conversation uh, about so many different subjects about um, the the past and uh, and and the immigrant experience and race and sexuality, uh, but uh, but also a, a particular book and a, a study of. Um, of gender and sexuality and um, and how that the that supposed silent science um, was manipulated in this text and the way it was written about and uh, it is so inventive how it portrays that throughout the book because um, there are images and um, texts from documents that are shown to be blacked out throughout as well as the the text of their conversation and their exchanges and there's just such a beautiful quietness and underwhelming emotion to so much of this story that I, I just loved it so much. And uh, even though this um, this did win the National Book Award um, last year, I still think it's a very strong contender and it would be so exciting to see a, a novel like this um, get a, a double win of um, some of America's most prominent book awards. And then my third choice uh, is Northwoods by Daniel Mason. And so so I only just read this um, earlier this year with my online book club and we had such 
great discussions about it. It's a novel that、um, had so much hype, but I feel like really deserves that hype、um, because the the story、uh, is so beautifully and inventively told.、Um, rather than following any particular characters、um, and their their journey、um, throughout the entire book, it follows a structure, a building in New England、um, from the foundation of that building of、um, hundreds of years ago till、uh, very recent times, and then moving. Into the the future,、um, so tracing the history and lineage of America in, in a very different way. But we meet、um, so many interesting characters along the way、um, who inhabit this building or pass through it, and、um, and and the. Places that this story goes,、um, it just continuously surprised me. So reading it together as a group and、um, discussing it as we were reading along, you know, we could share in the enjoyment of all those twists and turns that the the story takes, and how some of the the characters、um, recur over time, and their their presence、um, still has a resonance. And so I, I just love、um, how a novel can trace、uh, a place and people over a long period of time.、Um, So when we read、uh, a particular story about people who inhabited this place, and then many years later of of people that、uh, re-inhabit、um, this building, and there will be a small detail of something that is left behind, or the color of the the walls, and、um, and we know the、uh, resonance of this, but the new inhabitant of that,、um, you know, is entirely unaware of it, but becomes you know gradually aware of、um, the everyone that has inhabited this place. In the past, and just creates this wonderful layering、um, sense of、um, of history in、uh, in one location, and it's、uh, just so beautiful. So those are my three predictions、um, for what will be the finalists and winners of this year's prize. Although I haven't said what I think will will win,、um, it's it's really difficult. I mean, I would say. A, Probably be between、uh, Northwoods or Biography of X, but if I had to make a choice of one winner, I would go with Biography of X because I feel like yeah, this is a really exciting author,、um, and it would be great to see her get so much more attention for a, a book which、um, I think is absolutely masterful and really beautifully told. But again, I would love to hear if you have any predictions、um, for this year's award. There are yeah, again, many many other books、um, that are eligible.、Um, I think. Um, Tom Lake by Anne Patchett is also a very strong possibility in a book that I also loved reading so much. So that would be great to see. But I'd love to hear about any other choices or options you have. And、uh, yeah, it'll be really exciting to see what、uh, makes the finalists and winner on May six. But I hope you're doing well and reading good things. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.